I'm genuinely starting to think that I have a big problem with this game. After having played a few matches online, I'm probably the least dripped out dwarf in Deep Rock Galactic. So we're going on a scavenger hunt. I want at least a full set of something. Like, I never get anything good in the shop. Like, we've got a decent enough fit on at the moment, but... We haven't got any, like, armor sets or any cool helmets or any, like, decent beards, I would say. We can get some cosmetics from the season rewards, but they're mostly weapon skins as well. For weapons that I don't actually have, but I have unlocked that one. Oh, I like the Waluigi mustache. I'm gonna keep working my way over to that one. And we're gonna put our mill spec skin on. Yeah, we'll leave the platinum. Oh, I hate the fungus box. I'm tempted just to wait two minutes for the missions to reset. I'll kill three dreadnoughts, yeah. <laughs> I want to see if that swaps over. I mean, I'm also too broke to afford anything decent, which is a little bit of a problem as well. Yeah, we were close to finishing this deep dive. That's another video. May as well have a pint while we wait. Yeah, I'm not going to drink too much because the last video, the entire purpose was to drink as much as possible before going on the mission, and I still feel a little bit sick from it. Yeah, I need more skins. There we go. I don't think that changed anything. Let's go dangerous. Yeah, we got these ones, but didn't change those ones. Okay, so I just wasted my own time. And a little bit of yours, too. Yeah, since we've got to kill three dreadnoughts, this is going to take a ridiculous amount of nitra. So we'll get Bosco on that straight away. Oh, and we don't even have a shield. Oh, so that's some bullshit, actually. Yep, that's three dreadnoughts, all right. This is a pretty generous starting cave, though. Mm, and we're already into the next one. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I probably should have spec'd my perks a little bit better for not having a shield. That's a lot of Mactera. I mean, it seems like I'm having enough trouble with the regular wildlife. I think the three dreadnoughts are gonna be a little tricky. Give me all the goddamn nitro you got. Normally I feel bad about exploiting the natural resources of this planet. I feel anything but that today. Like, where are you going? Okay, we got enough for a resupply. And this cave is pretty tapped, so we're gonna have to head off. Let's get all the scraps we miss. Mm. Bosco, you were so close. I only have myself to blame. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't have a shield, so I'm gonna take fall damage from, like, everything as well. <laughs> the more I think about it, the less I want to play this mission. Like, the Gold Rush modifier definitely doesn't help with the Dreadnoughts either. Okay, I've never seen more than one of these at a time. At least there's nobody with them they can shield up. Let's go, do you mind getting that down for me? I'm gonna need it. The only solace I'll have is be making an absolute fortune in gold from this mission, though. Sometimes it seems like having gold rush is only slightly better than a normal cave. If you get lucky with a regular spawn, you'll end up with the same amount of gold. Oh, Steve's not looking too good. Yeah, this gold rush is putting in some work, though. There's four classes in the game at the moment, and I feel like there should be at least seven. And there'll be a whole Snow White thing going on in the Deep Rock Galactic movie when that comes out. Oh, that's nice. Get him, Steve! I feel bad about putting the loot bugs down like old yeller sometimes. But if you didn't want to get shot in the face, you probably shouldn't have eaten all the minerals. Okay, we're doing pretty good on the nitra. Ah, oh, Steve down. We haven't got an actual wave yet. Just these little mini swarms. We'll get a new Steve, and then we're going to have to fight one of those dreads. Nuts. The time has come. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, saved it. I saw the golden loop bug and I got a bit excited. There's one here too. Oh, he's got the gold everywhere. Oh, bloody hell. Sometimes. Oh god, that's gonna pop the cocoon. Oh, I'm stuck in the hole as well. <laughs> Please, god, no. Okay, we're safe. We're good. Yeah, I could have sworn those things even impacting will kill something nearby. And those cocoons have like no health. Anything that touches them will set them off. Well. Boss go to knock all that loose for us. Steve. I'm super bad at calling the cooldown on that plasma rifle as well. Oh shit, yeah, when I'm mining those, I'm just straight up taking damage because I don't have a shield either. Just gonna try stand on top and not get burnt. I'd really rather one of the regular lithophage meteors. Since you only ever seem to get like a single plague heart. Okay, I just wanna go for the one down the hole. Boy, boy. Oh, it's always the twins. Ooh. Okay, yep. Yeah. I do not think I'm gonna last long in this fight, so we gotta kill them quick. Get them, Steve. Well, the range on this thing is pretty helpful at the moment. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Oh, he's wrecking the place.
Oh, I need some heal up. Yeah, just based off the name, I never know which one of these is which. Yeah, this guy just hiding on the ceiling. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, okay, one down. But he's the one who can't insta-kill you with burst damage if you're not paying attention as well. Where is he? Oh, there we go. Okay. That went better than expected, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Only two more to go. Although, since we fought two already, that makes us about halfway there. Yeah, it's almost guaranteed to be nothing in there, but yeah, I'm gonna crack it anyway. I should have done it actually, I should have saved those. Oh, I'm ziplining in there way too fast. For somebody who doesn't have a shield. Can't see shit in here. Yeah, I feel like we've barely been around this cave and we've got so much gold already. Although, yeah, this is back to the starting area. So we want to make our way back up here. It's only a matter of time until some big deep rock galactic YouTuber is found dead in a cave after getting lost and starving to death. Couldn't be me. Oh, Jesus. That thing was like hidden behind the vines. <laughs> Molly's found a nice hole for herself. Yeah, we haven't actually had a normal wave. <laughs> oh, Steve. Maybe they know there wouldn't be enough nitro in the world to deal with the bugs normally and three dreadnoughts. The whole cave would just be wall to wall nitro. Oh boy. Sometimes it does feel like they're out to get you. This job was a setup from the start. Those DRG bastards are in on it with the bugs. Steve, would you mind? Ooh, damn yeah, 500 gold is pretty good. You like four times the amount in credits? It's like 2k and some change. I have a map, but I am pretty lost. Oh, I feel like that one's gonna be a hard one to fight because that's a very vertical area. What are you thinking, Steve? Being very generous with the nut spawns. Uh, okay, we're going away from that one. Guess we can try and fight it up this tunnel. Ooh. My only problem is the severe lack of red sugar and me already being pretty damaged. Okay, we'll try and put a supply here so we can retreat to it when we get our ass kicked. And I kind of want that out of the way because I feel like it'll do more damage to me than the Dreadnought. And or Dreadnoughts is mainly for the health, which I just went and lost a decent chunk of to fall damage. Where is that Dreadnought? Oh, I'm looking right at it. Oh, I've got to stop smashing into the ground one of these days. Anything in his little area here? Nope. Okay, he's coming out swinging. It's the one that calls him the back up. The actual Dreadnought has disappeared though. Oh, nice. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Stop shaking that ass around. Okay, we took some damage there, yeah. I think we can start heading up the tunnel, which is where that thing is going as well. So I'm just gonna pop that there. <laughs> yeah, so first plan kind of fell through. Hoo, hoo. It's confused by me being up here, but not that confused. Not confused enough to miss a couple shots. We're going for a rather resupply. Splash damage is just kind of ridiculous. But we might be able to pull that off again. <laughs> that was a filthy shot. Shoot, it's fire things out of the air. Of course, that's the kind of thing nobody tells you about. Okay, I always feel like they should drop something, but they never do. Usually a little disappointed after beating one, yeah. It could be a little bit more loot buggy. Okay, we just need one more nut and we still got Nitra. Just need to try to find some help and make our way to the last boy over there. It is better if we go down this way. Yeah, this is a confusing one. There it is. Oh, a lot more gold in here too. Love to see it. This whole column is like made out of gold. Oh, that's deep. Let's go, you get that one, I'll get this one. I was just thinking that the little bug spawns seem to be a lot less now too. And then they all showed up. Any uh, red sugar going there. 
gonna try to get this nut to land on it. No, I screwed that up. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Probably should have grabbed a little bit more red sugar before I tried that. It's open now, though. Okay, and we got a little perk, and now we got it. Oh, fairly hefty chunk of gold. I wish there was a better way to visually see which chunks are more valuable than others. You can have one that's like 0.1 gold right next to one that's like 10 gold, and they'll be the same size. I'm lost again. Yeah, this cave feels a little convoluted. Anytime I feel like I'm going the right way, I'm actually going the opposite way. <laughs> Didn't even need to kill myself getting that other one because now we have more than enough. Oh, I completely forgot about the rabbit. Ooh. And I kind of forgot that these guys always spawn when you pick up a rabbit as well. Really looking for any scrap of gold I can get my hands on now. I think we've just about been everywhere here and looted as much as we can. Let's just leave that there. Get that too. Bosco gets that down for us. We're good to go. Oh, we could have missed some stuff in here. Uh, just a nut. Oh god, this one's gonna kill me. After I take an immense amount of fall damage, it'll just pick me off. Okay, that's three for three. And this does damage through its armor. Otherwise, you've got to whip around with a shotgun. Steve and myself took a fair bit of damage there. Come on, hold still. Okay, I should probably keep my distance. These things just don't take stun. Oh, no. Oh, he's moving fast now. Oh, that's a pain. Ooh. Get him, Bosco. Okay, we're out. Who needs a shield? Let's just have Molly carry us out of here. I mean, she knows the way. Well, sometimes, yeah, she'll try and kick us off. Still gotta make sure I don't die before we leave, which is always the trick. Let's try and grab some health while we wait for Molly. Let's go. Get some decent rewards for that. How much gold did we finish with? We felt like we completely robbed the place. Oh yeah, that's more than I thought we'd be getting actually. 736 gold. Pots of gold or double XP would have been pretty good there. And we get a pickaxe part or pickaxe piece. Or they just give us all the rewards once we're done with all the missions. It's not like one for one. Okay. Nice. Okay, we get one for one. That is good to know. We got a pommel piece, which is actually better than any of our other pommel pieces. So we'll go ahead and stick that on already. We'll call that a day for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one. Bye-bye.